Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, and uh, happy birthday Marusha Dark, who sent us these octopus mugs, which are brilliant, and, uh, or Kraken, Kraken the Cryptic mugs, of course, sorry, octopus, fool, um, and whose birthday it is, so we definitely wish them a very happy birthday. Um, they did send us a puzzle to do, and I have had a try, even though, well, one tester did get through it in the end, said it may be too hard. Um, I'm afraid it did prove too hard. That is a risk. If you send us an incredibly hard puzzle, well, you know, I'm not going to post a three or four hour video of my eventually stumbling through it because it also implies it's not, you know, I don't know, that's, that's maybe a rude thing to say, but once you get through an hour and a half, at that point, it's not particularly fun either to watch or to uh, or to solve. So, I don't know, maybe I was missing something that our tester was missing too. Anyway. I'm afraid it didn't it didn't turn into a video. I don't normally reveal what we've done, but Marusha may be wondering why we didn't try the video they sent through for their birthday, and we did. And what I'm gonna try instead is Butterfly Clip by Toolcat and Grockles. Now, the on the Discord server, the mods have recently implemented, I think it's called a guest series forum, where um, there are gonna be a number of guest series. And the first one is Grockles and Friends, and Grockles has been working with some other brilliant Sudoku minds to create collaborative puzzles, and this is one of them. It's by Toolcat and Grockles. So amongst all the many intriguing things on Discord, this is one of them, uh, this guest series forum. I'm happy to advertise it um, and do check it out. Uh, there are many other things you can check out around the channel, including our Patreon site, where coming up on the 1st of March will be Alice in Sudoku Land by uh, Panthera, Montinox and the Asylum. Brilliant series of Japanese sums, Sudokus. I think you will enjoy those a lot. Uh, perhaps a little easier than Glum Hippo's set, not sure. Um, and of course, there's all our apps with brilliantly uh, puzzles, often by us, often by some of the, some of the best minds in the business, um, and pitched at a genuinely and a quite approachable Sudoku level normally. So do check those out. They have been credited by a lot of Sudoku solvers with bringing them up to kind of speed with the videos we're often doing on the channel. I don't know where this puzzle is going to sit in, in the difficulty level, but I am very keen to give it a go and looking forward to giving it a try. So what are the rules of Butterfly Clip? Is that a butterfly clip? I don't know. I can see a couple of staples in the puzzle. What does a butterfly clip look like? Not quite like that to my mind, but there we go. That's what the puzzle is called. So the rules are these. Normal Sudoku rules apply. That's to this 9x9 nine nine region. So 1 to 9 goes in every row, column, and box of this 9x9 nine nine region. So we'll have 1 to 9 in there, in there and in there. Digits along blue lines sum to the same total in each region they pass through. Different lines may have different totals. Each instance of a single line that passes through a box is counted separately, so those will add up to the same as those, which is the same as that, and the same as that. The area outside the grid is counted as a region for these lines, although obviously digits in it can repeat. Um, a clue outside the grid to be deduced, like this one, indicates the digit in the nth cell in that direction where n is the digit is the first digit seen by the clue. So if we had a 6 there and a 9 there, I think this would indicate that 6 would be seen in the ninth cell in this direction, i.e. there. Numbered rooms, that's called. So, those are the rules. Do give it a try on the first link under the video. Um, I am going to start now. Let's get cracking. So, I don't know. What what do we do? Well, uh, I was going to say those must add up to... Yeah, the, these have to be Sudoku digits, these numbers outside the grid. That's definitely true, because they're indicating a digit that appears in the grid. So... They are from 1 to 9, so those must add up to at least 6. So these digits, which are exactly the same, somewhere between 6 and 9, that one again, and that one, and that one, 
not oh these are these add up to no more than that six seven eight I can do it here as well okay so that's a few uh, markings at oh that one too there we go now that's not really got me very far has it well wait these five doubled Yeah, I mean, this can't be a six because they would be one, two, three, but these would have to be at least four, five. And interestingly, I don't think this can be a seven either because they would be one, two, four. And how would you make up these into a pair adding up to seven without using one, two, or four? One, six, two, five, three, four. You can't. So that applies to this box, this, this, sorry, these two staples as I called them earlier so they are 8 9 and that gives us a pair in the central box now if these one of these is an 8 and in that case these digits the five digits in the box have to add up to 16 and must be 1 2 3 4 and 6 and the pair in the 2 cell bit will be a 6-2 and the other pair will be a 1-4-3. So which side do they go? Is it 6-2 here or 6-2 here? I don't know. Do I have a way of knowing? The 9 has more flexibility. Its cells will add up to 18. Mm, but I don't know much about it. Right, so let me just try and ponder. If we had an 8, 1, 4, 3, 6, 2, we'd have an 8 here. And this would be 5, 7, 8, or 9. Putting an 8 somewhere there. That can't be an 8 because of the 8, 9 pair. That one could be. But those two can't because of this triple, adding up to no more than nine. That's really interesting. So if that was, sorry, if this was the eight, that would be a seven saying put the eight in the column there. And this digit couldn't be eight. I mean, this would be a numbered room clue as well as... Hmm, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. So this is saying put that 6, 7, 8, or 9 in one of these cells. Uh, I don't know. There's something going on there, isn't there? But I don't not not sure I understand it. I don't think we're as constrained in this row five. If that was an eight, with that being an eight, six two there, one four three there, this five seven eight or nine is saying put an eight in one of those cells. Again, it can't be a five because we've got an eight nine pair in the central. So it's requiring us to have an eight in one of those cells, which I think now could even be there potentially. Although, that would be pointing at that cell. Oh, it's a bit weird and recursive somehow. I'm struggling, I'm struggling to understand it all, I have to say. Um, yeah, I don't know. Something is going on here. This is that we're looking at the right area. We're definitely looking at the right area somehow. I need to rule one of them out. This is the more likely one to rule out. So if that's an 8, 1, 3, 4, 2, 6, 8, that's going to have to be a 7. Which is putting an 8 there, which puts an 8 here, and that's... No, that's possible. That would be a 5, 9 pair. We'd have a 7 here, so this couldn't be a 7. <sighs> I 
Oh, it couldn't be a six either. Oh, that's getting interesting. Right. So if we had eight there, with one, three, four here, eight here, a seven here, which puts eight there. This six, for the numbered rooms aspect, if I'm positing a six, that couldn't be one, two, or three, because that would say six was in cell one, two, or three, and it couldn't be. Oh, yeah, that's, it doesn't work. That's beautiful. Right, I do get this now. So I'm going to show I'm going to show you what I've seen because it's much more easily explained if I if I paint the numbers in. So the reason this can't be an eight is because these add up to sixteen. They are one, two, three, four, six, which have to divide that way. This becomes an eight as well. Now the only numbered room in you can put in here is seven, which puts eight there. Now this is very beautiful actually. That means that this cell. It, it, this stops being able to be 6, 7, 8, or 9 in a weird way. If it was 6, these would be from 1, 2, 3, because those would add up to 1, 2, 3. So that would be saying 6 appears in cell 1, 2, or 3, and it couldn't. That's impossible. If that was 7... Oh, no, it is possible with 7. I thought it wasn't with seven, but it's because I thought that was going to be a seven. Oh, bother. If it was seven... Well, okay, I'll explain why it couldn't be eight or nine in this case. Ah, oh, that's really interesting. It can't be eight or nine because, again, these cells would now have to be four, five, or... This one in particular would have to be four, five, or six to point the eight or nine out of this... No, I'm totally wrong, actually, because it could be 8 with a 3 there. OK, OK. I've blundered twice in the same in the same logical misstep. Because there are two ways to do this. You could have an 8 there and a 3 there, which would refer to this 8. Or a 7 there and a 4 there, putting a 7 here. Wow, that's weird. OK, well, I'm a bit more confused than I was before now. And I was pretty confused before. So I don't know how I'm meant to get started now, because that, that theory was wrong. Yeah, for some reason I thought that 8 with a 7 there was putting a 7 here, and that was going to break up all the possibilities in a beautiful way. But that was incorrect. So... 8 is definitely the difficult number. If 8's there, that's a 1, 3, 4 pair. It's interesting. Either you've got a 1, 3, 4 pair there or there. This cell, in both cases, can't be 1, 3, 4 or 8, 9, but I mean, it doesn't really help. This one, similarly, uh, you've either got 2, 6 there or there. So this can't be 2 or 6 or 8 or 9. Maybe we've got to think about these numbers that come straight into the grid Oh, this is interesting. Right. Where is 6 in this column according to this cell? Well, it can't be on its own line because it would add up to too much. Yeah, OK. So whatever this is has to be in 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9. But this number can only be 4, 5 or 6 by virtue of these adding up to something that's no more than 9. You can have one middly number. And you have to have two low numbers. So they're definitely low. So maybe that was the most useful place to start, which is weird. I, I didn't think it was going to be. This can't be a six now because that can't be one, two or three, which it would need to be. So this is seven, eight or nine. And in this row... If it's pointing at that cell, this has to be a 4. I don't know. Uh, no, I don't know. In this column, not interesting. I 
got the that that's part of a region sum, isn't it? This I suppose similarly can't be six, seven, eight or nine. Oh sorry, can't be seven, eight or nine because of this sum adding up to that. But it could be one to, it could be two or three this time. Yeah, that's less good. That's two, three, four, five or six, putting the the number here in one of those cells, and that's far less informative. Is it up here then? Maybe it is just up up here in co the top column five. See, if we put a six in, we couldn't put it in cell one or two. If we put a six in cell three, that would put a six here, but that would clash with the number here. So this actually can't be a one, two or three either, because it would put the numbered cell there and that would clash with the same number, right. That is a very deliberate shape, so that that is middle E2. That is four, five, or six. This, these two must both be low, because of the rule that you need two low digits at a minimum in a three cell line. Um, and this number, which is this number, appears somewhere here in cells four, five, or six. And it's not eight or nine. So it is six or seven. And it can't be six because that's not one, two, or three. There we go, and we get there. It's a seven, which was unsurprisingly one of the two exceptions I found to the misdeduction earlier. So seven goes in cell four, and it's there. Oh, that's taken a long time, hasn't it? Now, is that going to rule out eight from eight? here, which seems more likely than ruling it out from there. Let's see. 8 there. 1, 3, 4, 8. Yes, this now no longer can be a 7 by Sudoku. So there's nowhere. You can't use 1, 3, 4, 2 or 6. You can't use 5 because there's an 8, 9 pair there. So that's not 8. That's 9. This is 8. Here's the 1, 3, 4 triple. That is 8. This is the 2, 6 pair. Now this number, 8, can't be in any of those first 6. It can be in, well, you can't put it into space 8, because that would put two 8s there, so that is a 7. Oh wait, I was just wondering, could 8 be there? If that was 8, oh yeah, this doesn't even have to add up to less than 9. Ah, so... This is 7 or 9, and 8 is in one of those two cells. Yeah, this line is a bit different, because it's in two cell segments. Okay, right. Let's just take it easy, Mark. So that's a 9, because this is a 9. Now, I've done something, at least. 1, 3, 4, 2, 6. These are from 5, 7, 8, 9. And that one can't be 9. Actually, neither of those two can be 7. These, we don't know. Those add up to 18. So, they don't use a 9. But all that, well... Oh, the 9 in this column must appear. That can't be a 1, or the 9 would be in the same cell. So it could be 2 or 3, putting 9 there. It can't be 7, putting 9 there. So that is 2 or 3. Now, that's interesting. 9's in one of those cells. Um, there we go. So these now can't be 2, 3, or f two, three 4 as a triple because of that. So they're either 1, 3, 5 or 1, 2, 6. They definitely include a 1. This is not, therefore, as we actually knew, a 1-8 pair. It could be a 7-2 pair, otherwise 7 is there. So 7's in one of these cells, and one of those two. 4 also can't be here or there. So 4's in one of these three cells. That's not 4. So this is either 4, 5, or 7, 2, because they can't both go in that one. 
Um, so eight is in one of those two along with nine. Interesting. These are either five, seven, nine, or seven, eight, nine. No, they. We've said eight. The numbered room is in one of those cells. So they don't include eight. They're five, seven, nine, and that's an eight. Five now has to be in one of these. That's not anything. One, three, four, eight, seven. These are from two, five, six, nine. I'm not ruling nine out of here because I'm not sure how to. Ah, this is a numbered room clue. So, if that's a 9, this is a 4. If that's an 8, this is a 7. If that's a 7, I don't know. So it's not a very helpful one. Interesting. This isn't very helpful either. Oh, it's a strange puzzle, actually. I like it. Uh, but it's a bit odd. 9's in one of those two cells. 8 somewhere up there. This is three, five, or six. That's just not thrilling. This numbered room is going to decide where nine is, but that's dependent on. Ah, oh, well, hang on. Is that if that was one, two, six? This is a four, five pair. If that's one, three, five, this is a two, seven pair. Ah, oh, if that was one, three, five, and that was a two, seven pair, that couldn't be filled. So that's one, two, six. This is now 4, 5. And this is where 7 goes. This is now a 3, telling us where the 9 is in third place. That's not a 3. That's not a 5 anymore. This is reducing 1 by 1. Um, 9, 8, 3, 7, 4. These are 1 from... Ooh, one, 1, 2, 5 and 6 are still to be placed. That's a one, two, three, five, and it's not quintuple. Four, though, is in one of those two places. In fact, it's there because we've got a four pair looking at that. Um, seven, five, nine, four. One of those is an eight. I don't know what to do with that information. Ah, these can't be one or two because of that pair, or eight, seven, four, five. They're from three, six, nine only. Now, I need to find more numbered room clues, don't I? So what's this number? That is saying the number that is in cell 2, 5, 6, or 9. I mean, there's too many of those as a possibility. This one, don't know. Um, right, I don't know quite how to restart now. This was pointing to rows... So to columns, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6 for this number. Well, it can't be a 6 anymore because that would be putting a 9 in column 6, which isn't going to happen. If it was a 5, it would be putting 8 or 9 in number 5. That can happen. It could be 9, 5. If it was a 4, it would be putting a 7 in column 4. And if it was a 6, it would be putting a 6 in column 2 or 3. All of those seem very possible, so that's weird. That's, it's not an entirely straightforward way to go about this. Now, OK. Let us find something else to do then. Um, 8 can't be in those cells. Or 9. So 8's in one of those two. And one of those three by Sudoku. No, that's not what to do. Um, 2, 6, 8, 9. This is 1, 3, 4, 5, or 7. It can never be a 1, because that's unless you had a 1 clue outside the grid, putting a 1 in room number 1. So that's 3, 4, 5, or 7, pointing to those cells. So it can't be a 5. It could put an 8 in room 7, a 9 in room 4, or a 7 in room 3. In fact, there is a 7 in one of these three cells. Hmm. 
Hmm. What about this row? Yeah, maybe I do need to finally, finally think about this clue, the two, two, two segment, which I don't, which I don't really like because there seems so much variability about the numbers. Yeah, this this line disturbs me because it can add up to more than nine as the segment number. Now this is either putting a nine in five, a seven in four. Now, I've looked at that. It's not really very helpful. Although these always have to be very low as a result. So let's think about that. The nine would need a five there. This would be one three. The eight that would have to be a two. And these would be one five. If it's a seven, it would have to be a four with one two. If it's a six, it would be a two or three. And there's always a one in these cells as a result. That's interesting. So that's not a one. Hmm. So one of the... Okay, there is a one in one of those cells. And one of these is a numbered rooms clue. So it must be a one. So, let's go through the possibilities again. If that's a 9, making this a 5, then this is a 1, 3, requiring a 1, 8 here, and the 8 would be in, in column 3, where it can't be. So it's not that. It's not a 9 with a 5. Right. If it's 8, this is quite complicated. If it's 8, which puts... 8 here with a 2 here. This is 1, 5. Then this has to be 1, 7, putting an 8 here and a 1 there. That is possible. If it's a 7, this is a 4. And this is 1, 2, putting a 1 in one of those and a 7 in one of those. No, hang on. If it's a 7, that's a 1, 6, putting a 1 in one of those, and a 6 in one of those. That is possible. And if it's a 6, well, that's 2 or 3. This is 1, 2 or 3. But this is 1 and 5. Ah, that's possible. So I only eliminated 9, weirdly, from that. Group. I mean, 9 is the one with most flexibility, so it's weird it should be the one to be eliminated from the possibilities. I'm almost getting a string of low digits in the rows. Maybe up here, 2, 6, 8, 9. 4 and 7 have to be in that group, don't they? So what was going on here? This was either a 9 in column 4. That's going to make this a 9. Ah, in 5 or 6. Oh yes, this 4, 5 or 6 is putting 7, 8 or 9 in one of those cells. Well, 7 can only go in that one. So if that's a 7, that's a 4. 8 can only go in that one. So if that's an 8, that's a 5. A 9 can only go in that one. So whether this is 7 with a 4, 8 with a 5, or 9 with a 6, we're always left with a 1-2 pair in these cells, which is bizarre. It is true, but it's very, very odd that that always worked. And it doesn't actually resolve much else, does it? It feels incredibly significant, but I don't know what to do with the information. That's frustrating. I mean, that's very interesting, but it doesn't solve much. 7, 8, 9 as possibilities. That's bonkers. Okay, so... So this is definitely... It, almost definitely going to add up to more than 9 now. Okay, what about this? This is looking at the 9, the 6, or the 5, which are going to have to be in those cells. 
if they're not there. So that is now a 2, 3 or 4. Looking in columns 2, 3 or 4. Is it? Or am I doing... No, 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 no. It's looking at columns. Well, the, the numbered rooms 5, 6 and 9. So it's either 3, 4, 7 or 8. That's quite different. And then this number is the numbered room. If that's an 8, it would be 5, 7 or 9. Can't be 1 or 2. I don't know, I'm absolutely at sea really on that one. This is either putting a 7 in column 3, an 8 ooh, in column 7, or a 9 in column 4. That's right. Um, oh, that's... Yeah, so if that was 7, 4, that would be a 3, which would put a 7 there. That is possible. Ah, oh, I've got to find something else in this puzzle. Or maybe there's just some clue that is sitting right there and I'm not using it. This one is either putting a 6 or an 8 in one of those cells, or a 7 there. These clues are either one or five. Yeah, I just don't know. All the clues I can do, I've done. Um, right, that can't be a three just by Sudoku. So if that was eight, this is a two. This is a one five pair. This is a one seven pair. And that's going to put a seven. A one seven pair. Regard, re requiring 1 and 7 to be in columns 1 and 5. That's not going to happen. So that's not an 8. Okay. So it's either a 7 with a 4 there and a 1-2 pair, or a 6, which could have 2 or 3 there, and those are from 1-2-3. So that's not a 5 anymore, and that's not a 5. Oh, well, these are getting a bit more limited when I actually do the proper thinking. Um, right, if it's a 6, that's a 1-5 pair, and it's putting 1 in one of those cells and 5 somewhere here. And if it's a 7, that's a 1-2 pair, acting on a 1-6 pair, Putting one there and six in one of those. Ah, but the possibilities now are one, two, four, or one, two, three to add up to seven or six, so that's not a two. Wow, it takes me ages, doesn't it? Um, I don't think that does anything anyway, it just gets me a six and a two. Although now there's a two in one of those cells, and I know where it is because there's a one, two pair there. Now there's a 2 in one of those two cells. Tempted to say it can't be there. Can these add up to 11? Probably. Yeah, I don't... This, this, num this line is so uncertain, I don't know. That digit is the same as that. I don't know anything about it, really. It's not going to be the cell in the, the numbered room two or four digit, that's all I know, which is nothing. Right, there's a seven in one of those two now. Um, that's a bit interesting. If this was a seven, so that's four and that's a one, two. Then this would be a one, six placed in columns one and two. That would now be a six, seven pair with eight there. That would be 549, and that would break that cell. Okay, that's good enough. So that's not a, a 6. Yeah, I'm just going to check that through again. If this is a 6... 
Oh no, you see I started with if that was a 7. So let me think about that again. If that's a 7, you've got a 1-6 pair here. That's 1-2-4. With 1-2 there, which are saying that 1 can be in one of those cells and 6 is in one of those. So you've got 1-2-4 there, 7-6 there, 8 there, and 5-3-9 here, which breaks that cell. So it does work. I just slightly said the wrong things. So that's a 6. This is now 1, 2, 3. That's a 1, 5 pair. There's a 1 there. And a 5 in one of, well, not necessarily these two cells. It could be in there. So there's a 5 in one of those three. So you've got 5 there, 5 there. There must be a 5 in one of these cells. We've got a 1, 2, 3 triple, making that a 4. 7 in this column has to be here. This is a 5, 8, 9 triple now. 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9. That is 4 or 6. And 6 is in cell 2 or 3. So it's in one of those two. And that's not a 6. So 5's in one of those. 6 in one of those. 7 there. 8 in one of those. 9 and 4 to place. 9 could be anywhere there and 4 anywhere. Bother. Oh, look, I've got a 1, 2 pair in the row. So that's 3. Right. So now the 5 is in 1 or 2. It's not there. So that's a 5, 7 pair. And I can place 8 and 6. And I've got a 4, 9 pair. That's now a 4, 5 pair in row 7. Let's get rid of the corner mark there. Um, okay, well that was something. 4-9 pair looking at that. This is 1 or 3, but there's a 1-2 pair looking at it, so that's 3. And these, this group is a 1-4-6 triple, I reckon. Now, 6 is in cell 3, that's done right. One of those is 1. Yeah, that's interesting. This means that one and five are in a in a in a diagonal. And that means that two and five are a pair. Oh look, I've got a one, two, six I've got a one, two pair in this row, so that's six. Oh, come on, what's going on? I've got a 1-2 pair in this row. I've got... Oh, I've nearly got a 4-5-6 triple. No, I haven't quite, have I? What about this? 8 could still go in 7. I don't think I've changed this up much. This can't be. 8-7-4-5-9... It's one, two, three, or six. It's a very interesting puzzle. Ah, oh, two and six are there, so that's a five. That's probably been available for a while. Um, that's a one, that's a three. Can't fix the two and six pair, probably can. That two and one pair's been done, finally. Those don't have a three, so they're a six, nine pair. That's a five. That's a 6, that's a 2. Let's get rid of the corner marks. This is a 3, 7, 8 triple. 3 and 7. Now I've just got to find some numbered room clues. This is pointing to room 6, which is an 8, or room 9, which is a 4. So we've got 8 or 4 there. This is 1, 3 or 8. So it's either a 1... If that's not an 8, that's an 8. So if it's a 3, it's an 8. And if it's an 8, it's a 9. So this is 1, 8 or 9. Now, there's probably only one pairing that adds up both of these. The pairs are 17, 14, 12, 9, 10, 7. 17 works. 
14 doesn't, 12 does, 10 might, no, 10 doesn't, I don't know. That's not easy. That's not easy for me to do in my head. I'm not going to keep trying. 1, 3, 8, 2, 6, 9, that can't be a 3 anymore. 4, 5, 7, if that can't be a 3, that's not a 7 anymore. So that's not a 4 anymore. Now, it's either an 8 in room 7 or a 9 in room 4. What about this column? We've got a 1, 2 pair. That can't be a 1, so that's not a 1. Right, now the possibilities are reduced. 17, 14, 12 or 9. 17 or 12, both still work. Not 9 and not 14. 17 and 12, so it's either 9, 8 or 9, 3, so that's always a 9. 12 or 17, which is either 4, 8 or 8, 9. So it's looking at room 9 though, so that's a 4. There we go, a 4. So that's an 8. That's a 3 to make the sum work, and that's an 8 to make the room work. Excellent. So 12 on this line, that is not a 7-5 pair. It's not a 9-3 pair, because that couldn't be filled. So it's an 8-4 pair. We place 2. That's going to finish off an awful lot of things, actually. I would think. 8-4, 2, 3, 5, 7. That's not a 5 either. 9, 6, 1. Yes, it is finishing off things. 9, so that can't be a 6. That's a 9. That's not a 3. So, 1, 2, 3, 9. Those can't be 4 or 8. So they're part of a 5, 6, 7 triple with that. That's a 4. 2, 4, 8. That 2 has fixed 6 and 2. That 4, 5 pair makes that a 6, which makes this a 9 for the sum, which has been obvious for a while from that numbered clue. I hadn't seen it. Um, 6 comes out of that. That's a 5, 7 pair. 5, 7, 4, 2, 8. Right, we can play 6 in the box, and 1, and then 3 and 9. That gives us a 3 on the last clue, which is saying 3 is in room 5, that feels like confirmation that the whole thing's working. Eight and five, eight and four. I think we're just finishing off Sudoku now, which is a relief in this puzzle. A very clever puzzle. Um, most enjoyable. Very unusual. Three and seven there. Seven and five. Five and four. Four and nine. Right, now I must know what's going on here. This is saying there's a 5 in room 2. That's it. 5, 2, 1, 1. Which always looks very odd. 1 sitting next to 1 in any context. And there we go. And that is the solution. What a lovely puzzle. Very entertaining. Thank you, Toolcat and Grockles, for that. Um, and thank you for mentioning the... the um, Guest Setter Forum. Very interesting. And uh, I wish you all luck with it. Right. Thank you for watching, as always, on Cracking the Cryptic. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.